viewers, it's Kara, aka CuteWitch772, but you're watching this video on my mom's YouTube channel. We made this video for my channel, but it was too long, so I decided to edit it a whole bunch and just toss it up on her channel so you could watch it here. I'm planning on showing her how to use her YouTube for updates on her Etsy anyway, so I figured this would be a good start, and the video on my channel is just going to be a short vlog with the link to this video. So if you're from my channel, hello! If you're not, go subscribe to my channel! So without any further ado, here's our video talking about the things that are on my mom's Etsy shop, links in the sub bar, and talking about the things that are still to come. Enjoy! Right now I want to talk to you about her Etsy because I'm finally going to give you the link and actually if you're following me on Twitter, <coughs> by the time this video is up you already got the link on Twitter because I wanted my followers to have the link first to give them just a little extra special thing for being my follower on Twitter. So the first thing that we made sure we put on the Etsy and we actually already sold one is the chakra bracelet and I can't find mine right now but we all wear these in this house except hers keep breaking. I get too much of my own energy put in it and I guess. it breaks for me. But all the ones that she's ever made have never come apart. I Mine actually accidentally went through the wash this past year. Washer and dryer came out totally fine. It's just clean. Briefly, what is this? It's a chakra bracelet. What does it do? <laughs> it aligns your chakras. Keeps your chakras aligned. What whenever is... you wear it. It balances you out. Keeps you grounded. Keeps For me anyway, this is what it does for me. Keeps me calm, keeps keeps every one of my chakras from my crown to my root balanced together, and I go through the day without problems. So I keep telling her, you got to make me one, because I've got a feeling mine keep breaking because I've got too much of my energy already in it. Right. So it's best if you get a chakra, don't make your own. If you're going to try and make your own, don't make your own, because it's not going to work for you. My first one was purchased for me. She bought it for me as a gift, and it broke. It was really crappy quality and then when I got it wet I realized that they were actually made of dyed stones so it, it was not good at all so she decided to make these and they are all genuine chips yes these are all genuine crystal chips they're not dyed it's not gonna come apart red coral for the root chakra carnelian for the I can also use red sacral, jasper right for the sacral chakra citrine for the solar plexus dark green aventurine for I the also heart have light green this one has sodalite for the throat chakra, but we also have lapis, turquoise, other kinds of blue stones. This is where this one gets weird. This design has amethyst for the third eye chakra and clear quartz for your crown chakra, which is one way of going about it, but some people like to represent the throat and the third eye with blue and indigo, and then the purple amethyst would be for the crown. Purple or white is for the crown, so this I one have just... been making them with the sodalite and the lapis for the blue and the indigo. The lapis would represent the indigo. And then those would not have clear on them, but there is a design that has the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and then a clear in between each one just for that extra, because clear quartz boosts the power of the other stones. But I like this design. This was my favorite just because it's more of a rainbow, so I call this the rainbow, and this is the one that's on there right now. The other chakra item that's on there right now is keychain. has all the same stones on it from root to crown, exactly the way they would be in your body, bottom to top. I got this idea, right too, there. mostly for, for men. You know, because they might not want to put this on their wrist. Though I do know some guys that are wearing my chakra bracelets. Some yeah. of them hide them underneath, and some of them just don't care. Or wear them in your pocket. Right, but if somebody's really, if there's a man in your life that's really funny about that sort of thing, then the keychain, I can put anything, the sun, the moon, the stars, I can put any kind of emblem on the bottom of it. I should but start making some crystal pendants for the end, too, maybe. Yeah. I also make chakra earrings, but none of those are up on the site yet because I don't have any made, so I need to make some then we can list them. So the next thing that I made sure I put on there was the prayer beads, and these are the kind that don't really look like a rosary because they don't have the tail, but this style is for the four elements. I pick my beads the way I pick my crystals. It's by what spirit tells me and what feels right when I pick them. So that's the best way I can explain that. This is on beading wire. Yeah, this one's not stretchy. I do make them also on stretchy wire, so that if somebody wants to wear it as a choker, It'll actually stretch over your head and then, of course, go back to tightening up around your neck. These are glass beads. 
and I use kind of a clear with a clearish whitish type, type of thing for the air element and then green for the earth blue for water orange glass beads for fire I like that one that one's kind of cool and I put a charm for each element on there and this one I used a frog for the water and I used the dragon for fire and I used a dragonfly for the air and I used a little daisy for the earth I think that's a sunflower that's, I'll, I think it's I'll a give sunflower. it to it's a sunflower I, I designed them myself but all of my ideas came from a book on pagan prayer beads I redesigned them to make them my own pattern favorite. this one that I've been playing with is the three realms rosary or prayer beads it's like the four elements, but instead it represents the three realms of the world. The earth itself, the waters, and the sky. We have a couple different designs of this. There's a stretchy version of that on the Etsy. Because they're handmade, they're always a little bit different, but these are two of the basic styles. This one has the regular, what we think of as a rosary design with the tail and like a charm at the end. But this one is made all of seashells to represent an element. Prayer beads can represent a lot of things. Like my set that she made me represents what she wanted me to remember for my life. I just basically told her what kinds of beads I wanted and then she picked all her of the Her favorite little... number. Right. I asked for 13 big beads all the way around to represent the amount of moons in a year and seven beads in between each moon bead because seven is my favorite number. Every charm I put on here in one way or another for some reason to me represented my daughter right down to the dragon for the fire so really quickly just going through some of the other stuff that's not on the Etsy yet and things that are I didn't want to give you guys the link when it was like just bracelets and keychains because then you think oh that's all there is so I tried to put as many different things as I could on the Etsy right now but there are still some things that aren't like her bath salts oils incense stuff like that that she makes all handmade and things like the soap the little healing bars that she made that are really cute and small they're kind of like a trial size almost place a large enough order i'll give you one as a free gift the medicine wheel and some dream catchers are on there also not on the etsy yet is pendulums that she makes i do have a miniature pendulum board on there that's already listed but i'm gonna make a couple of chakra chains so that you can have the chakra stones you can also in your make pendulum them larger this is a big big chain and because I just mentioned the pendulum boards, I wanted to show you ours. So this is the basic design that she's working on right now, that these are just gonna be put up listed at a flat price kind of thing. Ours, actually, mom's, is enormous, and it has a stone in the center. They normally always have a stone right in the center. Mine also has felt on the back. Right, so it doesn't it with scratch. with or without felt. Mine has red felt on the back and is a little smaller and looks like this. Same basic design, but I asked her to write the Wiccan Reed in Theban around the outside. This little altar pentacle on the Etsy already, it's already on there. It's got stones here, and you could also use this as a pendulum board if you really just wanted it for yes and no. Or a wall hanging. This is the Native American and mom coming out. This is what she used to do forever. Tons and tons of plaques. Slate coasters, again, with felt on the bottom. And you can decoupage pictures on here, whatever you want. If you want a custom one, you can send in a picture that you want. These are not on the Etsy yet because she has to make another set. This is the only set we have right now. I just wanted to, to note, and this is written in um, runes, so I can do that. But when I blessed this board, he did not want felt put on the back. Because after I blessed this board, we turned it around and noticed the force of the energy I put into the board actually brought some of the imprinting through the board. I don't put too much of my energy into them anymore. Um, that's up to you to do the rest. So that's all we wanted to show you. The link to the Etsy is in the sub bar and I will link to my mom's Twitter. The Etsy link is also on her Twitter. And as soon as she ever remembers to use it, she can update about the Etsy on her Twitter. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye, Steph. Namaste. Blessed be.